Hey guys, we're back on the, the RMK 600 Polaris uh, 155 long track. Good machine, 2006, starting to be a little bit of hold. A uh, few parts are wearing out. I got a few issues last weekend. All the other parts I'm going to show you and we'll discuss a little bit about it. But basically, Mr. Chew the piece on the belt. Uh, no reason why. So I have to replace it. And then I could not start it. And what is happening? is the drive shaft or the flex shaft shaft going from the starter to the little gear to engage on the clutch just broken half so i will show you that part should be a very easy replacement the parts were extremely cheap uh, the belt that is selling for about 200 dollars tax included and even over at the store uh, got the exact oem replacement same number for 68 bucks and the, the the flex shaft was about 20 bucks, so it's actually pretty cheap, but just put on an eBay. Okay, let me show you. Okay, guys, so just to show you, this is the old flex shaft. Uh, you see, it had some better days. This is a new one. This is the end tips, like those one. Looks like a little bit different. We don't really see, but that the end result is the same shape. Uh, actually bought a new L wrench as well. The old one, the previous one. If I can show you clearly the tip of it, you see how it's worn at the end. Almost starts seizing up and getting some aluminium from the, the clutch plate. And uh, it was like super complicated to turn. So the new one should work a lot smoother. Let's go right here. Let's show you. Not even sure why it happens, but you see the belt. It's like about four cogs, just like peeled off. I never found the piece, I'm not sure what happened. So we'll have to replace that, should be pretty quick. And then the flex shaft, I can show you my spare safety belt. I can still save you, but it started cracking as well. So that's why I needed a brand new one. And on that one, number is 3211080. As far as the flex shaft, I think it's nine inches long, but don't call me on that. This is the starter right here. You have to go in between. It's going to be very tight. And the other end is going directly to that clutch right here. It's uh, actually hard to see. But if you see that little gear right here, just on that side, you have a little tip. Same thing. And it's just, there is no, no screws, nothing. You just slide it. Bend it, bend it, align the shaft of your uh, your starter, and just clip it. And just the the corner flex of that flex shaft will keep that in position. Okay, I'm gonna put it, and I will uh, tell you how easy or hard it was. It should not be too bad at all. However, I won't be able to videotape because you won't see the the details. Actually, I'm gonna show you because I just tried to. I squeeze my hand like that with a flex shaft. And I put it below, and I think we can see pretty well, actually. Where is that? Right here. And you have the shaft. So just need to turn it the right way. So it clips on it. Sorry, it's not super visible. And up, and that's it. Just snapped on it. Almost feel like it's magnetic. And then on the other end, I will need my two hands for that. Just rotate manually your starter to align it flex it pretty hard and just snap it on and that's all you need to do okay so it was not complicated not super easy either i used the screwdriver here to pry on the side just to put some more pressure to to move it apart away from the starter and be aligned with the shaft <coughs> and actually the other side is turning not the starter. So you can twist your flex shaft, get the right orientation, push it with a screwdriver, go sideways and snap it and boom, down. Just like easy. Okay, let's do the belt now. And I have, a, I have another video for the belt. But like I give it a shot, I wanna show you the, the old one, old L wrench will not work. It looks like they're pretty standard as far as the size. That part is a little bit longer. 
and then just turn that it will spread that apart will release the tension on the belt the belt will sink in between once it's sink completely then you can get it out around that part articulate the belt pull that out put the new one in from that side go around those flange and then release the tension remove the tool completely and then you adjust the tension with that okay let's go and do it let me see how it's getting a lot looser but still not enough i need to go a little bit further it's getting a little bit harder okay was an accelerated before then i skipped that step because there is nothing you can learn more than what i just did and one slow correction to my saying just before you don't get it out that way once you untie it you get it out from the top right here here we go and then you put it out that way and put a new one okay i will do that off video Okay, I just put it back in place. So again, I put the, the bottom portion of the belt, I sink it right here. I just go around that part and then I spin that part and it starts sliding and then I flip it 90 degrees and then you put it above, roll it a little bit, it goes very easy. If you raise the full tension, it goes very easy. Then I just need to remove the inner range. Here we go. And then after I just need to spin the track, which will kind of tighten that. Uh, right now it's frozen, so I should have freed that up before. And that's all you need. And then uh, check your tension. The cogs should be barely above the top of that, the bottom cogs, uh, the, sorry, the bottom of those cogs should be barely, like maybe a 30 seconds of an inch above that. But again, check your specification. I'm uh, saying that, but I'm more showing like how to do it. But the specification can be different based on the different ones. And I think there is a 30 or 50 miles braking period for the belt. So just be gentle on it, ride it for 30 to 50 miles, and then check your tension again. Okay, hope you like it, guy. I'm just gonna spin it. I need a, it's tight right now because the, track is frozen so i need to break the pieces turn that and as you're turning it adjust the belt and it will slowly squeeze itself back in place that is only for the fine adjustment where you need that uh, where you need the allen wrench and the the wrench untie that put a bit of tension retie the, the corner bolt okay hope you guys liked it if you have any questions please don't hesitate and uh, put some comments or questions on that video. Thanks, bye.